I think we, like I say, we in a climate urgency. That's why I think there's lots of focus in mainstream about climate change. Um, just because also that um, we're expecting 25% of species to be extinct in the next 10 years. Over 10 years, we've cleaned up about 800 million hectares of forest. Um, and in 2000, uh, in 21st century, we say by 2100, about 60% of all people will face life-threatening climatic conditions. So, so yes, uh, I think environment is very important uh, because also it links to food security and we need to focus a lot on the climate action and also on how we, our relationship with um, the environment. For me, the, the utopian world is that we don't stop making money with products and services. Obviously, that's necessary. We need to eat, etc., and put clothes. But that we move towards um, an impact-driven economy. So when we do, we do good, then you get paid. Um, I mean, we've done that, say, for example, for carbon uh, market. Uh, when we um, remove um, carbon, we have carbon credits, we can exchange it. Uh, we're more efficient, we can exchange it uh, for money. So that gives incentive to people to do projects which use less energy. So that's impact related to, 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 to money. Um, I think bonds, uh, green bonds, sustainable bonds, sustainability bonds, etc. Uh, for me, we need to link financial instruments definitely to, to impact because we've seen um, you know, the triple bottom line, corporates wanting to do um, like part of ESG, environmental social governance, etc. But it doesn't really move a needle that much. So I think we need to use a capitalist um, um, methodology to, to tackle the, this issue and this is for financial instrument. Um, second thing, I think it's also about collaboration. It's about most of the uh, problems, we already have the solutions, but we actually don't know how to work together to implement them. So that causes a lot of problem because we can't implement a project either you know, uh, on a national scale, etc. So it requires collaboration with government, with NGOs, with private sector. And I think we don't do that well. And if we can actually um, improve on that, that would be um, a good thing. It's a very tough question. Uh, for me, um, I think it's a review of a, of a uh, capitalist, uh, neoliberal capitalism uh, way we work. And I think it needs to be like a reframing of this. Uh, lots of works happening with UBI, etc. Um, I imagine maybe like an economy where it works. Actually, it works also for people. Um, there are already some systems around there. We thought about one thing about, you know, uh, for example, uh, like an Airbnb for the country where people come and spend money in your country. Then also, instead of some shareholders in wherever uh, getting all the money, maybe it's you know part of a percentage of uh, commission uh, that we take should go to the people. So, so, so for me, it, it is, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not anti-capitalism um, or anything, you know, I'm part of a system and, and actually it worked work well for me also. And, um, but it's to, to rethink about, about, about this and, um, and to be able to redistribute wealth. I think the question is how can you redistribute wealth? And this would be, um, the UBI I think is, is universal basic income, I think is, is, uh, is a good one. Uh, fiscal fiscal, fiscal um, policies, which obviously speak frown open when we tax the rich and, and to work a bit like a Robin Hood type of thing. But that's quite necessary and it's very important for, for people who have the money to, to be able to be more altruist and, 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 and thinking yeah, um, of helping others. I think um, the natural environment is, is very important. Um, I mean, what, I'm, what comes to my mind now is more um, when I look at climate action, the SDG um, 13. Um, so yeah, there, was a, there was a infographic that I've seen. Um, it actually touches all the SDGs. So climate actually has impact 
systemically on all the SDGs, obviously, you know, I mean, with poverty or hunger, um, etc. And I think um, the SDG framework has got about 230 indicators. There's about 70 of them where climate is, is directly or indirectly related. So it's, it's very important. I mean, we see that in, um, you know, people being displaced, um, having like lots of rain. Um, look at education, you know, my kids can't go to school because it's raining outside. Um, I mean, this is just like very menial compared to the big problems that climate, um, um, yeah, all the fires and the destruction, uh, all the crops. Um, today in Mauritius, uh, all the, the vegetables are twice the price because uh, of the weather. And, uh, and that causes problem to, to everyone, and, but mainly also for the farmers uh, who are forced to put these prices up to, to earn a living. So yeah, so it's very, very important and I'm glad also that you know, globally uh, people understand it now. I remember when I started my consultancy business um, more than 10-15 uh, years ago, um, people, yeah, I've had to explain to people. <laughs> Today, I think it is quite clear, and uh, but obviously we live in a world where, you know, this is happening outside. You know, I'm happy in my bubble, and you know, and that's what we need to change a little bit of the culture and, and the behavior for us to, to to move forward. But I'm quite optimistic. There are lots of things happening. I hope I won't say you know too little, too late. Uh, but yeah, we need to to get to work and all together um, work towards. Um, fighting for climate action or helping others and, and, and contribute to the SDGs.